Hi, I'm Rebecca Slotograph, and I'm really pleased to be part of this panel where we talk about who do we serve, why, and what is our purpose and mission. So we've faced an array of disruptions. We're all too aware of the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had, putting extreme stress on healthcare workers, but also shifting how people interact with healthcare providers and a new emphasis on mental health care. We have also seen elevation in disinformation that widens the polarization across individuals and the political polarization we see across numerous countries that creates dysfunction. We've also seen a large humanitarian crisis, an uprising against racial injustices, and even a wide ranging impact that AI can have. These are just a few of the disruptions, yet they can cause concern as they challenge our status quo, or they can offer opportunities to make valuable challenges or valuable changes. As we think about how these disruptions can offer opportunities, we should step back and ask, what type of world do we wanna live in? Do we like the direction we're headed? And as marketing scholars, how can we shape the direction? We have long considered different stakeholders. And I would argue we need to expand our purpose, consider a wider array of stakeholders to broaden our impact across countries and across contexts. We've considered firms, managers, retailers, and consumers for quite some time as key stakeholders in our marketing decisions. As we consider the type of world we wanna live in, we need to take a broader lens and consider society, the planet, and the future. So let's step back and think about some of these things. Well, as we think about the future and we can think about consumers, and the paths that they're, we're headed with consumers and individuals. So looking just at Gen Z, Gen Z spends primarily on health and wellness. They spend in thrift stores and in ways that support small businesses. Okay. These are things that tend to vary and be distinct from many of our preconceived notions. 45% of Gen Z have boycotted a business they enjoy buying products that display their social and political beliefs. And a majority agree with companies taking a stance. We also need to think about Gen Alpha. And Gen Alpha are these eight to 15 year olds that share many characteristics with Gen Z, but they also have some unique characteristics. Family is key and they're worried about not seeing family enough. And this should not be too surprising given, the, given that their formative years were shaped by the pandemic. Also close to that of Gen Z is their interest in sustainability. And they're looking to brands to lead the way for this change in sustainability. They're also passionate about inclusivity and they look for representation. They also continue to spend a lot of time online and they enjoy entertainment and enjoy podcasts. So we can think about how the interests of these future generations influence what, how we might wanna reach them, but what we might do as brands and companies to reflect their interests and to reach these consumers. So as we think about the future and we think about their interests, for example, in um, environmental uh, changes and environmental sustainability, at our current rates in 2030, 1.6 billion people will lack safe drinking water and 1.9 billion people will lack basic hygiene facilities. If we think about this for healthcare. And when we think about water, we can think about this as key resources at the planet level and for future generations. We also think about consumption and production. 
these are the root cause to a lot of the planetary crisis. Okay? The biodiversity loss and the pollution is stark. So our reliance on natural resources is increasing and it has been rising over 65% globally over the past 20 years. So when we think about future generations and we think about the planet's effect, I think we wanna step back and ask ourselves some bold questions. So let's think boldly. And as marketers, what could we do differently? As we think about our purpose, could we ask questions that encourage individuals in these developed countries to actually consume less, to buy less? Could we shift the meaning of materialism? Could we design products to reduce waste? And could we expand our focus to broader non-financial performance indicators? So essentially, how can we shift the questions that we ask to shift our focus, our purpose, and our mission, and think about who we actually answer to in a broader array of stakeholders, and think about how we can move towards the future. Thank you.